So this is the method I prefer to do. If I want to release this, I can certainly release it. But when you use the proper flux, you can see what a joint should look like, okay? And I know that's basic, but a lot of guys are thinking what they're seeing online with a joint that is not properly fluxed they do not look like this. They do not look smooth. They do not look uniform, where the solder is actually mating on both sides. This is the difference between a connection that will last forever and a connection that will potentially fail over time. That being said, I wanted to show you the difference between what we typically see online. Here's a cable that's gonna go on this terminal. And this is what we typically see online when somebody actually does a tin on a wire. And you can see the carbon and I left it there intentionally to show you and you can see how dry this connection looks. This is not a properly tin connection. Okay, and I know that sounds funny because there's a lot of guys online that are posting videos of this and they're like, oh, I just tinned it. That's not tin. That's not properly tin. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Here's a properly tin connection. You can see how full the lead is. You can see how the solder is uniform all the way through. This is a perfect bond welding all the conductors together. Now, when we compare the two together, you can see a dramatic difference, a dramatic difference. And when I say that, I get guys that go, well, you're a perfectionist, this, that, you know, and it's like, no, 